Hi everyone, welcome to Gaffer and Gear. As you can tell, it is freezing cold in Melbourne, and I hope the audio is okay today because I've got rain hitting the uh, hitting the doorway behind me. I've got some water coming in underneath, but uh, we'll persist. All right, today's episode, we're going to have a look at these Kupo Apple boxes. So uh, I bought uh, three of these about six or seven months ago, and now I've got eight of these kits. I'm pretty happy with them. So I'll just run you through uh, what we've got here. So it's a nested Apple box kit. So what that means is the smaller Apple boxes are kept inside the larger Apple box. So you've got a uh, lid at one end. Now the lid has a thread, so you can put a spigot in and use the lid as a uh, floor stand or a turtle stand. You've got your um, half size, a uh, quarter, and an eighth sized uh, apple box. Now the eighth size, we also call these pancakes um, in Australia. So that's what's in the kit. So one of these kits sells for uh, just under 300 Australian dollars, and that's just under 200 US dollars. So not a bad buy. Now one thing that's put me off buying nested apple boxes in the past is the lids. They're usually just a thin piece of plywood that stops the other apple boxes from falling out. And they don't really inspire me with any confidence that there's any structural integrity at this end of the box. But with the Kupos, it's a very solid lid, very thick material. So I have absolute confidence that um, this end of the box has a lot of structural integrity. Now, one big difference between these nested boxes and, the, um, and a normal family of boxes is the large box doesn't have any structural support in the center here. So if you compare that to say a Matthews, um, if you look down the center of a Matthews, you can see there's another wall in the middle. So these, uh, these larger boxes do have uh, more structural integrity than a nested large box by itself. But having said that, I have um, jumped up and down on these. I've tried to break them because that was my first concern that it wouldn't be strong enough. But uh, I found these are, these are more than strong enough for the, the work that I do. Now, one thing you do have to watch with these lids, so this is worth pointing out. If you're used to, say, using a Matthews box that's uh, not a nested box, you can pretty much grab it any way you like. It doesn't matter when you go and grab the handle. Now, here's a catch. Um, if you grab uh, this end and you go to lift it and you've got the, the lid orientated the wrong way around, you can jam your fingers. So um, you do that maybe once or twice, and then you very quickly learn that um, you put the box down that way, and that way you're not going to jam your fingers when you move the box. Now, one thing I don't like with the large box here is it has handles at the lid end, but it has no handles at the other end. So I think that's a real big limitation on them, particularly if you've got a whole stack of Apple boxes stacked up and you've got your large one on the bottom. If you want to then move uh, whatever you've got rigged, say move it 30 centimeters across because the shot's changed, you've got no point to grab. So I, f I figure that's a big limitation on these. Now with the large box, it is a standard size Apple box. So what I mean by that is if you use it with a Matthews box, they will interplay nicely. They're both the same dimensions. But that's where the interplay uh, between brands of boxes stops. Because this is a nested Apple box, it stands to reason that your other Apple boxes have to be smaller to fit inside it. So as you can see here, they're not the same height and they're not the same width. But here's another reason why you can't interplay the half, the quarter, and the eighth with your other brands of boxes. And that's the, uh, the height of them when they're laying flat. So this is a little bit irritating. So two halves, for example. Isn't the same height as the full here. Okay, it's a little bit shorter, quite a bit. So that's that's a little bit irritating. So what that means is if you've got say a table with four legs and you want to level it out, you can't use three sets of apple boxes. You can't get you know three legs with a full size and then have uh, the fourth leg with two halves. You know the table's going to wobble a little bit. Now if you get two uh, quarters, the two quarters are not the same height go down here the two quarters are not the same height as the half okay they're very close but they don't line up so this uh, these two quarters is higher than the half so if you're using these to adjust the height of your props no problem at all if you're using them to stand on because you're a short cinematographer no problem at all but if you want to level a table out you're definitely going to want four kits you won't get away with three 
All right, now here's the next thing you've got to be careful of uh, with nested apple boxes, not just these, but any of them. And this actually happened to a colleague of mine who was, uh, I was lucky enough, gave me warning about this before I fell into the same trap. And that is how you varnish them or how you coat them. So um, I've just got a spray on lacquer, which, um, which doesn't add much volume. But if I varnish these up like I would a normal box, they'd be a couple of mil thicker each box. And then what happens is they don't fit back in the larger box. They just won't fit in. So that is something to be aware of. Just be careful of how you varnish them up. Otherwise, they won't fit back inside the large box. All right, so for me, um, I've got eight, uh, eight of these kits in total. Um, they just made sense. I've got small vans. These take up um, a lot less space than a, a traditional family of Apple boxes. Um, very easy to carry around, very well constructed. Oh, one thing I really like with them too is the, um, the wood is actually pressed, so everything's level. Okay, so that's what you'd expect from, from a decent Apple box anyway, but not all, not all Apple boxes are made that well. So beautifully constructed, easy to pack down, takes up not much space, but if you're gonna try and level something like a table, you're gonna need four sets, you can't get away with three. All right, see you on the next episode of Gaffering Gear.